Dolly Tribe. This is Evie Fashion Pack Sunshine here today with just kind of a little bit of clothing accessories that are, you know, Barbie um, related accessories and things of that nature. I have these things out because I want to explore them, open them, um, talk about them, and fit them onto some of my lovely dollies that I have here. These are the things that we're going to look at. And then I have a bonus pack behind this Roxy outfit. I have a bonus fashion pack deal to um, for us to look at. But we'll get there when we get there. So I also have this arcade um, desktop arcade ball thing that I got from the Dollar Tree that we're going to look at. We're going to open that one up first and then we're going to get into the fashions and then we're going to get into my little bonus pack. That's not what it's called. I call it a bonus pack because I wasn't expecting it. Let's get into it. But as always, before we do, Dolly Tribe, what's good with y'all? How are y'all doing? How are y'all doing on this fabulous Wednesday? Arcade desktop ball thing. Let's let's uh let's check you out. Okay, it comes in three different like little deals. So this is like I guess the one piece of the lane. And you have to assemble it. Here is another piece where it kind of curves and the ball is supposed to go up to like this little deal which is this one now, i think they have it labeled correctly for the most part 10 20 30 40 isn't it like 10 20 40 and like 100 or something i don't know it's been a minute since i went to play ski ball <laughs> they call it arcade ball but it's all the same isn't it so you kind of have to put it together so i'm gonna put it together like so let's see okay there's that part and with these things, it's kind of cute because you can really like, you can kind of customize it to what, to what you want it to, what you want it to do. Okay, here we go. So here it is. Here's like the little deal. <laughs> and then here are the balls for it. I guess you're supposed to, uh, let's see. Let's see if I can do it without what, um, having one of these balls missing. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, let's see. <laughs> That's not working, is it? Oh, okay. One of them went into like the lowest thing. Let's see. Uh-oh. Don't fall off. <laughs> As you can see, I'm not really well at this. <laughs> not really well at this at all. Get in there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, yeah, it's not working the way I want to. I probably had to practice around with it until, you know, things would work out for me the way I want them to. But this is a really cute, like, little thing you could have in a background or something for your dolls. And then I can take it apart as well and put it, I'm putting it, I'm taking it apart. So it's real easy to take apart too. So that is a really little interesting thing that the Dollar Tree had. I think they also had bowling. Um, I may go back and get that one if it's still there. All right, everybody, I am back. As you can see, I have um, a curvy doll here that I uh, put the um, Netflix movie um, Over the Moon characters head on this curvy body. And then I also have my doll Izumi here. This is Izumi. And she is from, I don't know, she's a Barbie fashionista, fashionista 160 or something like that. I don't know, some mess like that. So these are the Barbie fashion packs once the packs are removed. You know, there's these beautiful little Ziploc things with little hangers on them that you can remove and put, you know, into a Barbie closet or something like that. Or a boutique diorama or whatever you want to do with you know with the little hangers that are on here each of my packs came with these these hangers so 
I'm definitely going to remove those and, you know, do what I need to do with them. So I have some models for these three outfits. And then for my bonus pack, I'm going to have my mini me, um, you know, just kind of mess with some of the items that are in that particular pack. Okay. All right. So let's get started with probably my least favorite look out of all of this, <laughs> which is, what is it? What is it? What is it? It is this one right here. This Roxy. Um, I mean, it's cute. The colors are very cute on it. I wouldn't have picked it if had I not liked it. But out of the ones that I got, this one is my least favorite. There are some shoes that got the little Roxy symbol on there. And this is like the card once you remove, you know, all the, you know, remove it out of the pouch. Okay, so this outfit comes with three different things. It comes with the nice little Roxy dress. And it comes with these cute little Converse-like shoes. It has a little Barbie face logo, face and ponytail logo on there. So these are, you know, really cute shoes. And then it comes with like a little bitty, tiny bracelet that I don't really think goes with it. <laughs> Let's get Izumi here and get this on her. Here is Izumi. <laughs> Finally, can you see her in the whole outfit? Here is Izumi in her outfit. I'm gonna pull it back a little bit. And then we're going to move forward. So here is Izumi looking super duper cute, as always. When does she never ever look bad, you know? <laughs> but she is really cute. Um, I love the stripes on this outfit. I love the stripes on this outfit. Um, I love the colors. And it's just, it's just cute. It has cute little straps. It's a cute, you know, shape of a dress. And she just looks really good in it. Um, this little purple scrunchy thing did not come with it. Um, it came with, with this here. But I don't think it goes with it. So she will not be wearing it. Just to let you know. But anyway, there is Izumi. And I'm done with her. And so I'll be back. The second fashion pack. This is Magdalena. She is sister of this girl right here who is um, uh, Veronica. <laughs> Veronica. And they do have a cousin named Delfina, but I didn't bring her out. They all have the Teresa face mold, the old school Teresa face mold, which is really gorgeous. Yeah, this is, um, this is the outfit here. It did not fit on my sweet Changa doll. This doll right here did not fit on her. At least it didn't look like it would. So she's not in it so i had to make an executive decision and decided not to put her in it but to put magdalena in the outfit and she looks absolutely stunning she looks gorgeous the skirt is cute i thought it was like supposed to be like that little fake denim material that they're all that sometimes they make the skirts but it's actually some kind of synthetic material and then here is the top it wasn't supposed to be this far up but when I put her on the doll stand, that's what it did. I'll take her off in a second. But I just want you guys to see how well it fits on Magdalena here. Magdalena's super duper cute. I just think she's gorgeous. She's adorable to me. Um, here is the other items that came in a pack. Came with a little heart-shaped purse and a deal that says Boss Girl. I guess that's a hair barrette. I'm gonna take them out now so we can see them in better detail. So here is the heart-shaped clutch purse deal thingy. You can just hold it on her hands. I'll give it to her in just a second. Yeah, this is a hair barrette. <laughs> I don't do well with things this tiny. 
I'm scared I'm going to break it. So I'm not even going to put it on the doll. I like to, this is the kind of uh, accessory stuff that I like to leave, like to put into a diorama, like put the little hair barrette near the bedside table and all of that. So you can just see it in the background and adore it that way. Actually, I think I'm going to let her sister hold the little purse here. So there's the purse. You can see it. Here is Magdalena. I got her some edgy boots on because Magdalena, as much as I have her in this outfit, she take the skirt, but I think she'd rather have a black top to go with it. <laughs> and here are her stud, studded boots. Magdalena is a very um, wild child, opposite of her sister, who um, she can get sassy, but she's not a wild child like uh, Magdalena is. Magdalena um, is likely to run into Jolene and become fast friends. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know how I'm going to let the storylines go because I haven't fully created all of them. But here is Magdalena. Isn't she gorgeous? And look at how this top fits on her. And then let's pull the skirt down. There we go. You see how cute it is? And it Velcros in the back. And the skirt is just elastic at the waist. So you just kind of pull it up. Everything... Um, is sewn in him on the edges for the skirt um it is i believe surged along the neckline here for the blouse and at the sleeves but it's kind of a raw edge ruffling here um at the bottom of this nice little blouse thing i like the lavender color i like the color of the skirt um i think this goes well together could they have put like a green top or a white top or a black top or even a red top on this to you know better match it yes but the lavender is giving it life too so you know not too bad all right this next outfit is right here it's really shiny metallic and cute okay so there's some really cute stuff in this pack in my opinion the only thing i don't like in this pack too much is this little purse I don't like purses shaped like this. It looks like some a bouquet or something should be in here. But that's just my opinion. I don't like little purses like this. Never have and probably never will. So here is the dress. Really cute. Um, you can tell they tried with the quality of it. Made sure there was no raw edges and that sort of thing. So you got to give it to Mattel for that. And then... Here are the orange shoes. Ooh, these shoes is everything. They're so cute. I will wear these in real life if I walked well in heels. <laughs> as many times as I've worn heels, I do not walk well in them, folks. Big surprise there. So this is Eden. She is my Dyna Integrity Toys Dynamite girl. I don't know what year she came out and all that because by the time I got her, she had already been out for quite some time. I want to say like... I don't know, 2012. This is Eden. And she is gorgeous, isn't she? Look at her work, that outfit, y'all. Look at her work it. <laughs> look at her in that dress. And look at that purse. The purse does go well as far as the coloring with the dress. I'm going to take it away because I don't like it. I'm going to show you guys one more time just to be nice. Girl, you better stay up on that stand. Okay, here we go. Here is the purse. And I'm showing it to y'all because some of y'all may like it. And I want to do the right thing. Because otherwise I would not have shown it. <laughs> so here she is with the shoes. Look how well she wears those shoes. And look at her little painted yellow pedicure. <laughs> but she fits just wonderful in these Barbie shoes. Look at that. And they're really cute shoes. Now here she is. You may not even like the dress too. But, you know, I like this dress. I think it's really cute and sassy. I love the cross, the crisscross of the um, the straps. And I like the little peekaboo right here. Showing a little skin. I love the high-low in the front. And then we got the low of the dress in the back. Nice breezy day to be floating about. She looks very... um. I don't know. She looks like a little goddess in this. <laughs> she looks like a little chocolatey goddess. And, you know, and then look at that face and look at that lipstick to match with it. Mm -mm -mm. Eden is something else, y'all. 
If you have this doll, then you understand what I mean. She is just gorgeous. So here she is on, with this outfit. Let me put her hand down from looking so awkward. Uh-uh, don't fall. Okay, so here are my beautiful, beautiful girls for today's video. Um, I got one more pack to open up with you guys. And that is this pack right here. <laughs> yes, I call this the bonus pack because it's just it's just full of nice little goodies. So I love almost every item in this pack. Yeah, I already know what I got a problem with. <laughs> Let me show y'all. And y'all gonna know what I got a problem with. Y'all know what I don't like. Here is the pack. So what item do I not like in this pack? <laughs> y'all know which item I don't like. Okay, I'm gonna get them out. Starting from the items um, at the top. And then we're just gonna go down. Okay, the first item that I see here is this little bracelet. I don't like the little bracelet got the little studs and stuff all over there. I mean, I do because it will look nice sometimes. I just, sometimes I don't want to deal with all that. So let's see who that can go on without them looking too crazy. I'm going to put this on Magdalena here so you guys can see how it fits. And when you see Magdalena's hand, you know, just, just ignore it. My kitties got to her. Not this round of kitties. Uh, It was the, it was some kitties probably like, Yes, almost pretty much two two almost two years ago now. But here here she is. Here's her hand. Her hand's a little chewed up, but pay no attention to that. Here is the bracelet. Magdalena can rock it. Okay, the next item that I see here is this blue necklace. It's cute. Um, since Veronica is here, we're gonna have her put it on. There is Veronica wearing the blue necklace. All right. The next item is one of my favorite items. You guys know. You'll know it as soon as you see it, what my favorite item is. This here. These freaking bum bags, these fatty pack things, whatever you want to call them, or belt purses or whatever you want to call it, it's a fanny pack. When I was growing up, they called these fanny packs, and I absolutely detest every time they put one of these in a pack. It's time to let them go. I don't even know how many of them I have, but it's too many of them. It's way too many of them, and we all know it's too many of them. I'm going to let Izumi put on this uh, fanny pack just so maybe I'll like it better if I see Izumi wearing it. Cause it Izumi almost look good in almost anything she's in. So here is Izumi wearing this darn bum bag. You know, it's all right. I think as a joke, I'm going to have like, a, I'm going to make a diorama of like a flea market kind of place. And I'm going to have somebody that's a vendor of just them bum bags, you know. Just see if they just have all the bum bags that Mattel and gave us. From the packs that I bought and just have them all set there. They ain't gonna sell nothing but bum bags, belt purses, and all that business. That's all they gonna sell, just so you can see the entirety of the foolishness that is Mattel. Anyway, <laughs> the next item here is a little water bottle. They look like they have increased the size of the water bottles. They look fairly larger because the other little water bottles they used to put in there, I used to think. She's not going to get, you know, she's not going to moisten herself with, with, with that. She's not going to be able to hydrate herself very well with that little bitty bottle. I mean, it'll be better than nothing, but here's a nice size water bottle for you. Here is some golden sunglasses. They're quite opaque. So I don't even know who can wear these. Let's put Eden in these and see how that goes. As usual, she looks gorgeous in anything you put her in. The next item we have here is a mask. Because, you know, we're in the COVID time. So, 
people are still wearing masks no matter what the CDC and everybody saying people are still wearing masks so I know I'm wearing a mask still I don't play around with that I wear a mask if you don't wear a mask you know that's that's something that you know you have a right as an American to do I guess but for me I think masks are vital and I'm gonna put my mini me in the mask and see how she, cute she look in it. She has really big earrings on, but otherwise this mask looks really good on her. This mask look really good. So she's looking super, super cute and mighty fine with a mask on. And the next thing that I see here is this suntan lotion, SPF 50. If you're going out to the beach or just out and about, and going to a picnic or somewhere where the sun's going to be on you heavily, you do want to put on the suntan lotion that works for you. We have this little tote bag that's like a, you know, some kind of green color with um, leopard or cheetah spots on here. So that's our little tote bag. It's super cute and it's see-through. So let's say we put the SPF, the little SPF deal right here in this little in this little bag with the suntan suntan lotion in there so the next thing is really really cute this little teddy bear or whatever this is is super adorable um it's really it's really a cute little touch i don't know who it's for but i mean it's really cute and i guess one of my little super cute girls will go will have this in, you know, their diorama stash somewhere. So this little so this little bear is super duper cute. The next item that we're going to look at and the second to the last item is this little hat. It's a nice hat. I am going to put it on Magdalena here because why why not? I don't know, she would look super cute in it if it would stay on her head. But apparently she her hair is too thick or something. Let's see if it can fit on Izumi here. I guess all these ladies have super big heads because it's not fitting on them. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this hat. Okay, everybody. And last but not least, here are some yellow boots. Um, I'm going to put Eden's feet in these yellow boots so you can see how cute they look. There's the bottom for you. So I'm gonna take these cute orange shoes off and then we're gonna put these on. Okay, everybody, here she is. She looks less elegant now because of these boots, but these boots look pretty cute on her chocolatey legs, right? Oh, excuse me. These are really cute, cute boots. I'm glad they're in this pack. And they're just very awesome. Very, very awesome. Okay. So this is the conclusion of the video. I want to thank you guys oh so much for watching. Um, like always, be safe and be blessed. And let's not forget to keep that sunshine in your life. Be positive, spread the sunshine, let's go and have a wonderful rest of your week and I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.